Hello. I'm Molly. Um, ooh, that's awkward. So in the year 2000, I was in sixth grade in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yeah, 612. Um, I loved school, dance class, and soccer, but I didn't actually care about any of that. The only thing I cared about was getting a boyfriend. Um, and I had my sights set on two very specific young men. Uh, a boy named Blake at school and Taylor Hansen. <laughs> yes, that Taylor Hansen of the iconic 90s pop trio Hansen. So by 2000, most of my friends were completely over their Hansen phases, but I pretended, so I pretended like I was too, but secretly I had an all-consuming obsession with Hansen and was 1,000% positive that I would marry Taylor someday. So when I wasn't planning my perfect Hansen wedding, I was fantasizing about Blake, um, who was a year older than me at school, and at times, the fantasizing mixed with my raging preteen hormones went a little bit far. You'll see. Um, so in the following entries, I will share with you my borderline psychotic obsession with Blake and Taylor, my plans to make Blake my boyfriend, and then eventually leave him for Taylor Hansen. <laughs> so. June 5th, 2000. A journal, my journal. It doesn't matter if anyone else can understand it because it's mine. <laughs> yeah, I've had my first kiss, Blake. He kissed me, but it was a dare and it doesn't really count. But I wish it, it did because I love him. Blake Allen Anderson. I have a fantasy that Blake will come to me and kiss me and say, will you be mine? And I say, yes, Blake. And we kiss again. And then we're boyfriend and girlfriend and everyone says we're the perfect couple because we are. I really wish I could have a real first kiss. I just want to know how it is to kiss someone and have it mean something. So now we're going to get into the Hanson stuff. And when it came to my obsession with Taylor Hanson, I had a plan. And that plan involved having lots of babies with Taylor. So I decided to come up with full names for all four of our future children. And not only that, but write down how I thought their handwriting would look at various ages. <laughs> so you can see Mandy. So Man <laughs> Mandy's name is looking a little squiggly at, at two, but by, f by five, she's, she's got the hang of it. So Apparently, I was planning on having developmentally normal children with Taylor. That was, that was a goal. So this is the, the same day. Oldest girl, Mandy Elizabeth Hansen, five years old. Boy, Jordan Zachary Hansen, three years old. Twin number one, Olivia Avery Hansen, <laughs> 10 months old. Twin number two, Lillian Ann Hansen, 10 months old. You see how all their last names are Hansen? Well, flip over a few pages and I will begin a story titled Hanson from beginning to end. <laughs> Hanson from beginning to end. <laughs> okay, so here's the 411 on Zach, Tay, and Ike. First of all, who are Zach, Tay, and Ike? The Hanson bros, of course. You see, back in fourth, maybe third grade, my friend Nandy and I fell in love with Hanson. They were this totally rad group of blonde brothers from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and their hit song, Mba, made it to number one in the country. I was totally in love with Zach. He was so hot and had such a cute voice. He was my fantasy. Nandy then, of course, liked Taylor, who we later found out is actually named Jordan. But no matter what, the fact was we loved Hanson. Eventually, others stopped liking them, but I still had all four Hanson CDs, two Hanson home videos, and Hanson posters covering my wall. I still loved them. Time passed, and eventually, yes, I stopped liking them too. They had no new songs, they hadn't made any appearances lately, and I really don't think I had a crush on Zach anymore. I went on with my life for about a year, never hearing from them or anything, <laughs> as if they were my close friends who suddenly ghosted me. Um, and basically, I thought they were history. Well, one day, my friend Rachel says to me, Molly, did you know that Hanson just came out with a new song and album, and people say it's really good? Well, I couldn't believe it. 
I watched MTV constantly to try to get a glimpse of them. And then one day, Natty and I were watching Hot Zone on MTV when all of a sudden, there they were. Their new music video for their new song this time around from their new album with their new haircuts and a totally new look. You see, one of the reasons people, especially guys, didn't like Hanson was because they had really long hair. I mean, longer than the Beatles, down to their shoulders long. And on top of that, they were all blonde. I mean, come on. So obviously people called them girls and accused them of being gay. Well, I for one didn't think they were gay at all. They were hot. But anyways, there they were with short hair. Isaac chopped all his hair off and actually looked like a guy. Oh, yuck, but then there was Zach. He'd barely cut his hair at all. In fact, I think it was longer than before. And get this, he was chubby. Gain a little weight over the summer, Zach? Yeah, I know, I was kind of an asshole. Um, okay, but then there was Taylor. He'd cut his hair, but not all the way. Sort of a cropped cut with layers and angles. He looked great. I instantly fell for him. So the rest is, I basically love him now and want to marry him, and that's why all my kids' last names are Hanson. Got it? Good. <laughs> June 11th, 2000. You know, this is kind of weird, but one time I went up to Duluth with my friend Laura, and it was really fun because we got this idea to play a game. We were secret agents and we had boyfriends. I had Blake and Laura had Kyle. Blake and Kyle are the cutest guys in our school. Anyway, at first Blake and Kyle were invisible. But then Laura said, what if her pillow was Kyle? So then my pillow became Blake. Then Laura said she had an idea to stuff a bunch of clothes like a scarecrow to make a guy. So we both did it. We stuffed pants and shirts and pinned them together. And there we had it. Two very cool looking dummies known as Blake and Kyle. <laughs> now we just needed heads. So we borrowed two styrofoam wig heads from Laura's aunt and we drew faces on them. Then we took some of her aunt's wigs, with permission of course, and cut them to look like boys' haircuts. We really, we really went for it. Um, we attached the heads to the bodies and voila, there they were, two great boyfriends. <laughs> That night, we watched American Pie, the unrated version. <laughs> and we got some ideas. We dared, we dared each other to do all the things we saw in the movie with our new Scarecrow boyfriends. It was so fun. Now, even at home, I make out with Blake all the time, and he even sleeps in my bed. My parents think Blake is stupid. <laughs> yeah, and really fucking weird. Um, but I think he's great. They don't know about the stuff I do with him, though. They knew. July 6, 2000. Yes, I finally got it. Hans is this time around, CD. It's so awesome, and Taylor looks so hot in all the pictures, and he has such a sexy voice. I am so in love with him. I want to be with him so bad. I'm just so lonely without him. <laughs> Nettie doesn't really like them anymore, but who gives a damn? I'm in love, baby, and there's not mu much more to it. Oh, and I sent in a vote for Hanson's If Only on TRL, and they made it to number one on the countdown. Too bad my comment didn't make it on the air. Oh well, I'll try again on Monday. I'll write again soon. Peace, Molly E. Fosco. <laughs> July 14th, 2000. Well, apparently Nettie hates Hanson, but that's okay. I mean, I do like their music and I think Taylor's hot, but they aren't my whole life. <laughs> they were definitely my whole life. And we totally do not define ourselves by celebrity worship so MTV can go fuck themselves. July 18th, 2000. I want Taylor to know me and I want to meet him. <laughs> you know, see if there are any sparks. 
I don't know what will happen in life, but for now, that's my fantasy, and hopefully I'll make it a reality. <laughs> November 11th, 2001. It's been so long since I've seen this diary. Since the last entry, I've skipped more than a few chapters in life. I'm in eighth grade now, 14 years old. My last entry was the day before my first day of seventh grade. Well, I love my school, I have a lot of friends, and everything's great. If you look back at my first entry, you'll see how much I was obsessed with Blake and blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? We're going out. <laughs> I guess the scarecrow practice really paid off. <sighs> well, technically, we're friends with benefits. But that doesn't change the fact that we've made out like a million times. Eek! <laughs> yes, I know. I'm so happy because he's so hot. I want to see him again, but I haven't, because I haven't seen him for like a week. I miss him, but I guess I can wait. If you'll remember, I was also practically in love with Taylor Hansen that summer. And guess what? I still am, LOL. <laughs> I know, it's actually quite pathetic, but he's so adorable. And when I hear his voice, God, I just melt. I recently started listening to all their CDs again, watching their home videos, and crushing on Taylor hard. But it's really killing me because even though I have a pretty good relationship with Blake, I want Taylor. I know it's stupid, but I'm convinced I'm going to become famous, meet Taylor Hansen, and marry him. I know, I can't help it, but he's just so yummy. So, Blake and I dated on and off for a few years, though we never made it official. We were always just friends with benefits. And big surprise, I did not marry Taylor Hansen. Uh, actually, the day I found out he married someone else, I cried for hours. <laughs> and side note, he has five kids now, so even though I wanted to have a lot of babies with him when I was 12, I think ultimately I, I dodged a bullet there. <laughs> but I did get to meet Taylor, yes, and Zach and Isaac. Uh, in college, I worked at a, a pizza place in Chicago, and one night they came in for dinner while they were in town playing a show. I completely lost my shit, but luckily I kept it together enough to take this photo. So, yeah. Thank you. That I stuffed and pinned together I got a wig And I stapled it to a styrofoam head And I gave it a haircut It's totally normal <laughs> That stuffed boy slept in my bed mm. and we practiced practice that's what we call it <laughs> I don't care that mom and dad thought I was weird I was practicing step by step I'm enacting my plan. Someday I'll have four kids with Taylor. Taylor. Those two and the twins. Can't remember their names, which is why I wrote them down. Someday that blonde hair of his will be left on my pillow. Yeah, that's right, that pillow named Blake. <laughs> Even though I sleep with Blake, I'm dreaming. Dreaming, dreaming of Taylor. Taylor. Dreaming of Taylor. 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 
But we didn't want to put labels on it aside from friends with benefits. Yeah, we saw each other incrementally. And it was nice to have someone to share some physicality. They were fake. And pull the styrofoam from my mouth. Each time I saw Blake in my bed, I knew it wasn't Blake in my bed. Hey. 